we couldn't get funding, we couldn't get publications, we couldn't get really people to notice RNA as something interesting. It, it had failed clinical trials, and pretty much everybody gave up on it. But you know, Katie lit the match, and and we spent the rest of I don't know twenty plus years working together, figuring out how to get it to work, how to get a vaccine to function well, and COVID hit, and, and the vaccines were recognized for 95% efficacy, which was really a turning point in RNA therapeutics. So you are among only a few women to receive a Nobel Prize in medicine. You know, what would you say for, or what advice would you have for other women making their way in science today? You have to enjoy. If you don't enjoy what you are doing, then you shouldn't do. So that if, I usually say, if you like the spotlight, then you should be an actor or an actress. <laughs> and uh, if you like to follow instruction, maybe military the best. If you want to be rich, I, I don't know answer for that, but if you like to solve problems, that, uh, you know, science is for you.